What's up, fam? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know. That's ICYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. We're going to start it off with DJ Vlad. Now, a lot of people say that Vlad is the feds and Vlad is a culture vulture. But DJ Vlad may have saved Scarlett's life. And I'll let you know what I mean by that. Scarlett is in a video, is in an interview with DJ Vlad. And DJ Vlad was speaking to her about um, record deals. Now, like I said, I believe Scarlett is, is a plant. I believe she's already been signed. That's why when he asked her, are you signed the right already? She's like, not yet. And then she put this big old smile on the face that she couldn't stop laughing. You know, she couldn't stop smiling. And he's like, oh, is there deals in the works? And then she just kept smiling, didn't say anything. Then she said, oh, you know, record labels are trying to offer me $100,000. They were trying to offer me two hundred fifty, eight hundred thousand, dollars 800000 And I'm like, you know, you can't give me a billion, a million dollars out of all these billions you make. So Vlad said, yeah, you know, he agrees. He said, right now you're buzzing. You got cosigns. Make sure that you tax them for all that you can. But remember, you have to pay that money back. And you see the look on or that I have on this screen? That is the look that was on Scarlett's face. Scarlett had no idea. So... Vlad, she said, you mean you can't, you have to give the money back? And Vlad, she said, you mean you can't keep the money they sent? He said, not exactly. And he said, that money is for your budget. They, they're going to give you a million dollars. You get to keep some of it, whatever's left out of your project. So they might give you some money up front. They may give you two or 300000 up front, but then the rest is going to be for your project, for your your stylist, he said, women rappers are expensive for your stylist, for your travel, you know, your makeup artist, your studio time. You know, they give a certain amount of, of money for those things. And then you have to pay that back. What they're trying to do is hope they make a project that makes them two or three million. And then once you pay back that million dollars, then you'll have profits from the extra two million. She was sitting there shocked. This goes to show one thing. Her team is trash. She needs to fire a team if she's sitting up there and didn't know that. Another thing is all these legends that connected with Scarlett, Onyx, um, Snoop Dogg, Busta Rhymes, Jada Kiss, like all these legends that connected with her. Cardi B. Cardi B's a new artist, so... I mean, artists has been in the game for years. None of y'all scooped sis to this. It took White Vlad TV, the one that y'all call Culture Vulture, that had to school her and say, you know, you need to find someone, get with Swizzy, get to somebody that's going to help you that knows the ropes. And this just goes back to D what DJ Academic said when he called a lot of the legends Dusty. This goes back to his point, wherein he wasn't necessarily talking about just the way they looked, but even the ones that are still good off, that are still well off, he was like, they don't scoop no young people to nothing. And they've been through it. They just take that knowledge for themselves and they don't school younger artists on, on it. This is a perfect example of what he was talking about. How does this girl not know this? How are y'all sitting out there and letting sis just run off in, into the music industry and not know that her record, that the money, she don't get a chance to keep? So shout out to Vlad. And you, I guess you got to shout out academics because this is what he was talking. Yes, he was talking about uh, some of them the way they look. But a lot of point was about they don't they don't help the younger artists. There's no reason why this woman should have knew, should know that that money that you don't get a chance to keep, you got to pay back. Moving on to Tory Lanez and 
No, Tory Lanez may be in huge trouble because the prosecution, they put in their memorandum today, you know, you know, their sentence, sentence and memorandum, and they are asking Judge Hereford to give uh, Tory Lanez 13 years in prison. And they are asking this on based on the six year, uh, which is the minimum that you can get for the gun charge. You know, I mean, for the actual assault, they're asking to tack on seven more uh, years in, you know, in what what they call, you know, the, the extras, the extras. They also mentioned his pre-trial um, things he did in pre-trial and post-trial and during trial. Pre-trial was um, August Alcina. They mentioned that. They also mentioned his antics and his um, and his lawyers' antics on social media. How they use social media. They mentioned, you know, social media, which I told y'all they would do. How he used social media to um, spread misinformation, according to the uh, DA, spread misinformation to attack Megan online to have people gaslight people into attacking Megan online. And they're saying he shamed the judge and shamed the prosecution. They're asking to add all this and take all this into consideration when giving his, him sent his sentence. They also, uh, they also mentioned the fact that they, he was offered a plea deal that he didn't take, but they said all the things added in, they brought up the, the his, some of his lyrics on Daystar. They brought up um, the phone call. They brought up him going to the Rolling Loud, knowing they wasn't supposed to be there, and how they, uh, how they, um, he was backstage within a hundred feet of a hundred yards of Megan or what have you. And they're basically bringing up a lot of stuff that happened, you know, after the trial. And Tory's words online. And I told y'all that Tory Lanez was making a mistake. They, and, and one of the big things they brought up was no remorse. They feel as though to this day he is still not shown remorse and still is not taking accountability. And they are asking for 13 years in prison. Now, the defense, they have to come back with their rebuttal. Now, from what I was told... They're going to try to, once again, delay sentencing and ask for more time to get their rebuttal. But this has been 30 days. And this time, if, if they ask for another delay, the prosecution is going to probably object and say, this has went on long enough. You know, this should be closer. He was, he was um, convicted in December. We are now halfway through 2023, and he has still not been sentenced. So they're going to probably object to it. The defense is, is trying to go through an appellate court and uh, get them to have the judge removed. But like I said, you got to be careful when you're doing that because the, the, the a court does not look, they look down on people that had to get a judge removed. And that's not going to remove your sentencing, but then it's going to bring another judge in and they might be worse. So you got to be careful. But as I said, you know, when I was saying those things, people thought I was hating. Wasn't hating. You got to be careful on how you act before you get sentenced. Because that's all the prosecution was bringing up. His, his, his actions after, after trial and before trial. So we're going to see what happens with that. Sentencing right now is still... Um, scheduled for June 13th. And we're going to end up with Azalea Banks. And is it, are, are y'all finally going to cancel Azalea Banks? I mean, it's not like she's top relevancy, but she's still making blogs. She's still making headlines. She's now came out and basically, and you can see what she says here, basically saying that she has no remorse and no sympathy for DJ Young Fly, because DC Young Fly, because he used her and, and her looks. He called her ugly. 
in front of millions of people while all these black people were there laughing at her looks. And then she said it gives her pleasure to, and satisfaction. She won, she says, when a mother of 30, a, a woman at the age of 32, this, this uh, Jackie old girl, she said, was so insecure, probably because of the way you shame women. She was probably so insecure about herself that she had to go get surgery and in turn, it ended up being leading to her demise. And she said, it's great satisfaction to me to know that she died on May 31st, which is her actual 32nd birthday. She said, and, and she died at 32 and on my 32nd birthday. And you are going to learn to stop playing with me. So she is alluding to the fact that, oh, she may have been doing some witchcraft or praying on his downfall or what have you. This is sick. There are children that are going to grow up without a mother, Azalea Banks. I mean, all the trolling and everything is cute with the rappers, with the girl rappers, or whatever, but this is another level. If y'all don't cancel this woman, This is next level stuff. You're taking it too far. So you feel you feel vindicated because a woman lost her life. And and you're happy because a comedian was making jokes about you. What the hell do you think comedians are hired to do? Cook. What do you think they're hired to do is your banks? You know what? I can't even. Y'all can 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 go on social media and check it out. This just makes me even just upset. I'm not even. I'm I'm never talking about Azalea Banks again. Cancel this woman. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. I E Network.